You have to ask the florist if it's, if it's too much. Uh, if it's too spicy. <laughs> Maybe it's not going to go well. The comments that Sharice was making during that package, <gasps> she's not into it, mm -hmm. folks. She is not into it. Uh, no. I thought she'd be wearing all black in mourning no. on this day. No. Just not pink and no, red. No pink, no red. Got a pink flower. I know, I'm red. I, I did have it. a red sweatshirt on earlier. Yeah, but it said, who I needs a valentine or something like that? I don't like need that. a valentine. I need a nap. I like that. <laughs> I, too, need a nap. Yeah, always. Yeah. And actually, this is kind of good napping weather right now. It it's is. gloomy, a little light rainfall, but there's a parade tonight. You can't. This is the big stretch right up through next Tuesday. And our weather, again, not terrible over the next couple of days. The only questionable day is still Thursday, and we will detail that a little bit more. What rain has been falling outside is very, very light. We're not even looking at much in the way of any rainfall that's accumulating. So what little light drizzle has been falling on the North Shore, even into the metro area. Again, we're not seeing any kind of measurable rain as it does look like we've only picked up kind of a trace at some of our observing stations. So what is falling again is not very heavy. This may continue into the overnight as we do have more of this southwesterly flow, keeping us in this more high and mid level cloud and then down at the surface. We've got the southerly wind helping to bring in the lower clouds and that Gulf moisture and it has been a little bit more humid temperatures. Not terrible right now. 68 degrees. We were able to top out in the lower 70s. So yes, above average, not quite to the records of 82, but we will be getting close to those records over the coming days as we're going to see more of a surge in that warmer, more humid air mass. 60s, low 70s outside at the moment and the dew points certainly higher than they had been yesterday. The dew points will continue to climb, probably reaching and peaking in the mid to upper 60s over the next couple of days. Still a bit of a breeze out of the south and that has been fueling those shower the, the moisture into the area, which will be the fuel for our upcoming rain event for Thursday. May see a few more isolated showers tomorrow as this upper energy is moving away. We've got the southwesterly flow in place, keeping us under that moisture. Now there is a second system that we're watching in the upper atmosphere and it's deepening over the west coast. This will be the front that moves in on Thursday. Now the upper trough that's moving away again, a few spotty showers tomorrow. Not a real big deal rainfall. And again, what little rain that we would see tomorrow kind of like today, very light, no real accumulation. Then here comes most of our rain on Thursday with a deeper trough, and this one will be really dropping temperatures for Friday and into the start of the weekend. So looking ahead again tonight, again, the few little light sprinkles here and there, maybe a few more during the day tomorrow. Then our storms on Thursday. The big question is, when do those storms move in? Here's what some of the models are indicating. Now the Euro would be bad news because there is going to be a risk of some strong to severe storms, really anything ahead of the front. Based on the Euro, the front doesn't move through the metro area until 9, so maybe 8, 9 o'clock would be, would be out of the woods for any real severe threat. The GFS is much faster, and maybe about 5 or 6 o'clock, we see the threat of any severe weather moving on as the front has already cleared the area. So still several hours difference, and for the parades Thursday evening, those several hours are huge with regards to whether or not we still see some storms. Even as the front moves through on Thursday, I think we'll still have some lingering showers even behind it. What rain we have outside right now is really in association with the upper level pattern. There is a front out to our west, but it's not going to be doing anything for us. So about a 30% chance for a few, again, spotty light showers during the afternoon, early evening hours tomorrow. Then most of our rainfall setting up for Thursday. Now, the good news with Thursday's rain is that this is not a washout of a day, more spotty to scattered showers. And this would be a great outcome. If all of the rainfall storms stay well to our north, then maybe we don't really get in on a lot of rain, even at parade time with most of the thunder thunderstorms right along the front and even this model is really downplaying the rain coverage and intensity for southeast Louisiana. We do find a level two risk of severe weather on the North Shore right now in the metro area. That would be a level one. I really think the severe threat is low. It was just kind of a question if that possibility is out there. Do the parades roll? And again, that's something we'll be watching closely. Very chilly as we head into the start of the weekend. We'll be turning a little milder, a little more humid, but mostly dry for both Lundy Gras and Mardi Gras. Derek.